From newstalkzb.co.nz. First for breaking news. Welcome to New Zealand. It's nice to be back. Although, as you are supporting the opposition, the Aussies at the moment, I'm not sure yes. how welcome I really want to make you. No, um, it's kind of it's going to be an inter- interesting weekend, isn't it? I think coming up for the uh, for the final. You pre- you're pretty confident, aren't you? I feel pretty confident, yeah. But what about the curse of Eden Park? You haven't beaten a season since you know since Adam was a boy. Yeah, that is a little bit of a concern, but I you know I just think that the the Wallabies have just got something behind them. They just seem to be they're not in great form. They're, they're playing well, but they I think that they after that the game against South Africa, I really think they'll get a lot of confidence out of that. Because that was a tough game to win. That was a tough game to win, and they didn't have a lot of ball, and God knows how they did it. I know. Because you've got rugby in your past, haven't you? Yeah. You would have been a rugby player, perhaps? Superstar? Uh, yeah, superstar. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah, I was yeah. going to say superstar. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I used to play rugby years ago, yeah. Um, I had a, a pretty bad knee injury that kind of um, took me out of the game, so... Um, yeah, but it was... Um, and threw you at music in a kind of funny yeah, way. Yeah, it was quite kind of weird how that all worked, you know. I, I had injured my knee and I um, decided to take some time off. I was studying at the time, natural medicine, and I, and I went overseas and had just started to learn a little bit about guitar and um, uh, went overseas and just learnt off buskers and other musos that, that I was hanging out with overseas. And, and So you um, weren't some kid playing guitar. I mean, you're, you're an adult uh, by this point, right? Yeah, I was 20, 21, 22. And um, by the time I sort of got into it. And songwriting then came later because, you know, that was just really a lot of fun for a while. I was probably, you know, about 20, 27, 26 when I started to actually write songs. Which is kind of late because you think of musicians that are starting really, very young. Do you think it's been a disadvantage or has not mattered at all? It hasn't been a disadvantage, I don't think, but it's just, that's just my life and the way it's turned, it turned out. Uh, but I remember doing interviews years ago and people were saying, um, well, you know, they say that if you haven't made it in the music industry by the time you're 24, you're never going to make it. And I'd go, well, that's just bullshit as far as I'm concerned. I mean, yeah, you know, why? You know, a good song's a good song and, and if you can write a great song and that's going to connect to people, then that's all it is. That's all that matters. So, and I'm not, it's not like I'm a pop act. I think if you're a pop act and you, you know, you probably need your youth and your, and your young looks to, to do that, but... You know. But I mean, look at all those old dudes out there. Like, I mean, Tony Bennett's just released an album, hasn't he? And he's, what, 85 yeah, or something? Exactly. I mean, there's plenty of lifespan left in it, I would have thought. No, and I think that's probably the, the interesting thing about my story is that I started so late. And, you know, by the time I was signed to a record label, I was 32. So I have a lot of people in their 30s coming up to me now going, look, you know, I got a lot, get a lot of inspiration out of your story and, and how you, you know, sort of kept going and, and had success in, you know, later in life. You said when you started you were going to do three great albums. This is now number four, so you're already exceeding expectations. You know, where, how far are you going to go? This is this is it for you? Well, I yeah, I had a goal. I've got a five album deal with the record label, and I thought if I can do three uh, big albums, then uh, that will set me up for you know a, a good touring base that I can probably do this for the rest of my life and and get good crowds to the shows. And so. I, I had achieved that, those three albums and it was um, had a lot of success back in Australia for, for those albums and, and uh, a little bit overseas as well. And then I came to the, the next album. I took three years off, basically. I just want to have a break. And I had to reevaluate everything. And I kind of, I actually thought maybe the, the last two albums I'd just do acoustic harmonica albums and just, you know, try and just get them done. And I thought, no, you know, I really want to make this one better than what I've done before and a little different. So... I was trying to, you know, I guess um, get away from my normal style of just playing on acoustic guitar and having that um, that laid back style and and you know the, the the new album is a little different to that. It still has those elements, but it's just more electric and has a bit more groove to it and and you know a different feel. You enjoying it? I'm, yeah, I'm really enjoying the music. It. Yeah, where you're going with it? Yeah, absolutely. No, I'm I'm really enjoying the uh, getting on electric guitar a lot more and and uh, you know the, the new the new songs are you know for me a lot a lot more fun. You seem quite a relaxed character. I mean, you came to it late. You're happy to take three years off, and I guess what did you do? Surf at Byron Bay, or hung out, or I surfed quite a bit actually. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I mean, you're obviously quite a relaxed kind of person. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, very laid back. Um, so uh, look, I you know, but I, I still have this because I was you know brought up with um, sport. I grew up in a small country town, and sport was everything to me. So music was later in my life, but sport was the, the big thing in my life. So I had this. Um, you have to have determination to, 
to succeed in in sport, as everyone would know, and I had that determination. I guess I I sort of carried that onto my music. So within myself, you know, pushing myself to continue to keep doing what I want to do, and and uh, um, you know, you need that determination there to to achieve that. Winning in sports, well, I guess I was going to say it's different, isn't it? Because you know, you go, you win a game, you tick that box, kind of thing. Mm. This is a much longer term kind of thing to be involved with, isn't it? Yeah, it is, and. Uh, and I think that's the challenging thing with music is to try and keep yourself interested in what you're doing yourself uh, so that you're not getting, um, well, you're not getting tired of what you're doing. And, it, and so I think if I'm interested, then, you know, my fans are going to be interested in what I'm doing too. That's, that would be, would be the ultimate goal. <laughs> anyway, you want people to like what you're doing throughout your career. And, and uh, so, you know, and that's the thing um, to do that, I guess. I, I'm also sort of starting to think, well, is there something else I want to do now? Uh, what not, are you thinking out of music? I don't know. Yeah, well, maybe. I'm not sure. But So we've had sport music, you know, maybe you should write a book or something. I mean, yeah, I'm not sure. You're not sure? Know. Yeah. Who you knows, become a mad scientist or something like that. I don't okay, know. well, we'll watch the space on that one. But in the we'll meantime, see. I think what we might get you to do is play us a song off the new album. What are you going to play? I'm going to play Free. I want you to stand up. 